Well, my day just took a turn. Uh, I was down all the way in Wyoming doing some stuff on the combines and a uh, customer called and he wants to do a demo with the 1038. So it's been up here at the uh, Dorchester Farm Show, sorry, Dorchester Fair for the weekend. So I ended up getting uh, a ride up here and I'm just waiting for the keys for it. We're gonna go demo on a chisel plow. So uh, this, is, this is sales, this is product specialist, this is how it works. Um, your day can be planned for weeks and it changes in a snap of a finger. So this is what we're doing now and we're gonna make good of it and uh, that'll be it for today. So we're just cruising down to the next demo. I've been waiting for this one for almost a month and a half now. Um, I'm actually a customer of theirs. I buy all my, uh, my Can-Am uh, ATV stuff from uh, from these guys and they've been wanting to do uh, some chisel plowing ripping with uh, this 1038 for for a bit um, we had it at the farm show for uh, the Woodstock show for a week which is of course when they ripped all their weed stubble so we missed that and he's been waiting for some of the alfalfa red clovery uh, cover crops that he put in uh, to die after spraying them almost three weeks ago now I think and between that and some rains uh, it just hasn't worked but literally called me this morning um, just as I was getting into Wyoming to um, work on those combines and said hey what about doing this demo today so I turned around ran all the way to uh, Dorchester to pick it up and I'm just getting there now I'll be there in about 10 minutes so, um, so this will be a 1038 on a 16 foot uh, Landall chisel plow basically discs on the front uh chisels on the back and uh we're going to be ripping under some weed stubble that was for, we're going to be ripping some weed stubble under that had uh covers and probably some uh double cut clover that was put on it during uh during the wheat growth So we're out doing this uh, 1038 demo, and as of right now, the tractor's burning about six gallons an acre, whereas the competitive unit that they run is burning almost triple that um, with the same ripper on the back. So it is performing the way that I was hoping it was going to. So we're pulling a 2112 Landall chisel, 16 feet wide.
And the equivalent um, unit that's been pulling this, same horsepower, um, older tractor, but uh, it could pull it around four and a half mile an hour, um, full throttle, all it had. Um, the 1038, we've got it set at 6.9 is the max. And uh, it's fluttering between 5.2 and 6.9, depending on where it is in the field and how hard things are. So it's, uh, it's performing really well. Um, they're really, really, really happy with the demo so far. I'm really happy with the demo so far. They, uh, they quite like the tractors. So we're gonna let them use it for this field. Um, as I say, this was the um, wheat stubble. And I come to find out later that they've actually injected manure in here um, from a neighbor, burned it down, and then uh, now they're chisel ripping. Uh, it's actually doing a really nice job. Let's see there. So the shanks are a little narrower on this. Um, and then it's got that, uh, that rolling basket on the back end that's got a little bit of hydraulic down pressure on it that um, keeps the clods from getting, or keeps the clods getting broken up. Um, I hadn't been around one of these chisels before from Landall, but uh, it's doing a nice job. So anyways, we'll let them keep going. Um, they're sort of just here in this little quarter that they've got. They gotta move over and go to the brush, so. Um, I don't know if they'll finish it tonight, but uh, we'll let them go tomorrow morning um, and then I'll come back and see them and uh, see where this whole thing goes. But as of this second, really, 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 really happy with how things are going so far. set up for the ripper that we did with the Landall, um, what you're going to do is go to Implement Manager, add a new unit, Landall, then you have to put in your measurements here. So what we did is it's 16 feet exactly, zero on the inches, gives us a half width of eight, and then here we're 15 feet from the front to the back uh, where the actual implement actually starts to work. If you put in the actual measurement and you wanted to put an overlap in, that would be done here. Then what we did is we went to last settings, we added a new, and now with this named in here, any of the hydraulic settings for the Landall will be stored under that and we can use it to be able to return back to all those settings without having to redo them all. A couple of the other things that we wanted to be able to do um, is in the engine transmission. So we set our speeds. So we had a, a five mile an hour headland turn and we had a 6.97 mile per hour wish list in the field that that's what our um, 
tractor was trying to reach when we were pulling through the field. What I ended up doing was I ended up putting um, this auto, which is the transmission sensitivity and how it responds to drafting from auto to manual. And then I turned it up to 25% today to be able to let them pull through that harder ground and have it react. The other thing we ended up doing is I ended up changing my min throttle up to about 1250. So now when we run the engine up here, it gives me just a little bit of engine RPM to be able to pull. Last but not least, I ended up setting up the we TI headland stuff. management in this unit. So if you go to TI, unlock, and then sequence one, will be the go button on the top of the button here. So what we ended up doing for sequence one is you come over here to do it manually. So the first thing that I wanted it to do was I want to do auto steer and then I want to add that. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. Next thing that was going to happen is the hydraulic was going to push out based on the timer that I've got set. And then the last one is I wanted cruise two to be engaged. Now and that was you what put we it put in the here. sequence here, it's got a second, so that would be a timer. I don't want a timer, I want a trigger, and I wanted fingers. So if we put that on the remote, and then you put a timer on this one, which was two seconds. So now what's going to happen is we hit the button once, the auto steer starts, we hit the button again, the toolbar goes down, and 2.6 seconds later, cruise control 2 was activated. Hit the back arrow, it asks, do you want to save the sequence? Yes. So there's the first one. Now I go and I push the end button, and we come back up, and we go to unlock. And I want to do um, the cruise one is going to go up first. And then I want to go hydraulic functions to the negative out. And I want to change my trigger to the touch button. So now when he hits the trigger first, it's going to pull the cruise down to the slower speed. And then it's going to lower the, or raise the implement on the next push. Save it. Yes. So basically now all he would have to do is just to, to put the unit in the ground. Get started there. He's going to hit it once. It's going to activate the auto steer. Hit it again. It's going to lower the unit into the ground and automatically kick to the cruise control two. Then when he gets to the other headland, he's going to hit end once, which is going to slow the unit down, and he's going to hit it again, and that's now going to raise the unit up. So basically all of our functions are sitting on these two buttons now in a sequence. He doesn't have to touch any of the other buttons here to be able to get the unit to be able to work. So as I said before, uh, this unit's running anywhere between 5.2 in the heavy ground up to about 6, 9, 7 in the, in the lighter ground. And uh, the engine is running around 1250 to 1300 RPM when it's really starting to bog down. And that is where the fuel efficiency comes from with these tractors, is that it doesn't have to run full throttle all the time. It just uses what it needs. So with that, um, I guess if anybody has any questions or comments regarding this tractor, the tillage, the demos, any of that sort of stuff that I do here, please throw it down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. We've been getting a few more comments into, uh, into the section here lately, so that's been great. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying this content. I'm having a blast out here getting stuff for everybody and, and being able to document what my days are sort of taking me as a salesperson slash product specialist. 
Um, this is the fun of what I get to play with. I get to play with these combines and tractors every day and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. So with that, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy and we'll see you on the next one.